Um, Ray Cannon has been declared a persistently low achieving school, a failing school. When you hear this, this, it, this really sounds terrible. Yet in 2007, as others have pointed out, Rincon was an A-plus school. It was a highly performing school in 2007 and 8, performing in 08, 09, and it's just barely missed its performing status in, in, in the most recent period. And, as, and due to a retest in, in, uh, this fall, they actually will be performing again. So really the question um, is, is, is whether it's not performing. As such, Rincon is not persistently under performing at all by the standard absolute measures and has performed better than several other TSD schools over the last several years. At the worst, this would appear to be a school that is marginally underperforming. The pain and suffering, costs, disruptions and costs associated with the turnaround model are just simply not justified given Rincon's level of performance over the last several years. It's just the wrong decision. Um, and the punishment just does not fit the crime. Got it. Thanks. Hi, I'm a Rincon parent and also a Rincon employee. I have had two sons to go through Rincon already. One. One is a senior at Rincon right now, and I had a senior graduate in 2008. I feel like what happened is humiliating to the rest of us. You guys trying to make us apply for them, apply for their job. I'm a parent there. I see what goes on every day. We got good teachers there. You didn't weed out the, uh, you didn't weed it out some of them. You didn't let the, the, the ones that's horrible, that, that messed up IEPs and all that, you guys didn't let them transfer to another school. But all the good teachers that's at Rincon right now, they have to apply for their jobs. I want to know how this can happen to great teachers at Rincon and the rest of them that then been weeded out go to another school and sitting on a cushion job, but the rest of the Rincon teachers have to apply for their job. I don't think that's fair as a parent or as another staff member. That's what I have to say. Legal counsel, Mr. Brown. My name is Lucy Messing and I am the president of the Tucson Education Association. I'm here tonight to speak about the Ethnic Studies program, as well as Rincon and Palo Verde High School. I want to go on record with regard to Ethnic Studies. The National Education Association, the Arizona Education Association, and the Tucson Education Association fully support the Ethnic Studies program. <laughs> you, will hear, you have heard and you will hear from speakers about the success of this program. The data supports the academic achievement, the improved graduation rates, attendance, and the, the students here have spoken eloquently about it. So we would like to have more support, I guess, I should say. You've heard me say this before. We feel that the district does need to be prepared to protect this program. If ethnic studies is under, pro if ethnic studies is under attack, all studies are under attack. With regard to Rincon and Palo Verde, this is a negative situation. Currently, the staff at Rincon and Palo Verde have been told that their schools will be recommended as turnaround schools. There are a number of reasons that we object to this. The task of having every single staff member reapply for their job seems senseless when you're referring to hundreds of positions. Quite frankly, I have no confidence that the central administration can do this. Almost all of the teachers and staff have received positive evaluations in TOSD. How do you justify releasing them from their positions without due process? These schools have struggled with leadership issues the past few years and currently have interim principals. But the teachers go every day to school just like the teachers at Saguaro High School, Sabino High School, and the others. They have committed their, they have dedicated and committed to the district. They deserve better. As you've heard from these students, the negative effect on the students in the community will come back to hurt TUSD once again. I ask that you reconsider and vote no on the turnaround model. Um, usually, I'm none of these. Um, okay, I'm never at these type of 
I'm, I'm a Don't classroom teacher. Me. This is what I do. Um, but um, what's happening to Rincon High School has really um, forced me to rethink what I do as, as, a, as a math. I'm a math teacher. I teach AP calculus. I teach pre-calculus. I'm highly qualified. I'm really good at what I do. Um, and that's not just me talking. That's a lot of people telling me that too. So, I'm, I'm really good at <laughs> but um, my my point is that um, I'm so disappointed by the choices that the district is making right now. I think that um, they, they had basically two cho well four choices, but two of the choices were um, let's have a, a transformational model or a turnaround model. And um, the one that made more sense to me is the transformational model. When all this stuff was happening, I was telling my other faculty members, no, they're going to do a transformation model. It makes much more sense. They're not going to do a turnaround model because we understand what happened to Rincon in the last couple of years. And that was not about Rincon. That was about the district doing something to Rincon. We were leaderless for a couple of years. And without a leader, you cannot do anything. And that was really bad. And I'm very disappointed at, to, to be here at this point. At this time, I should be home doing some, teach, um, correcting some work, right? I should be planning for school. But I'm here right now because I really feel that we are doing a disservice to our students right now. Um, I have this um, article that I saw that from the Washington Post in March 2010. And it says, Obama offers cash for turnaround schools. And it says, before taking drastic steps such as ordering, as ordering mass layoff, Mr. O Mr. Obama said, government should first work with principals and teachers to find a solution. We are not doing that. All right? This is not a solution to what's happening. And a um, um, couple of things, too. I think the district, let's be honest, has been underperforming for many years. The district itself. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 Where is the turnaround model for the district? Where is that model? Yeah. I'm not seeing that model, right? I think every stuff just flowed downhill, and Rinker just got caught in this trap, and I'm very disappointed. Um, another thing that's, that's very that's really bothering me a lot as a teacher is that there is something called an evaluation system that should weed people out. I agree that they are bad. In any system, you have bad teachers. There's no doubt about it. But let's find a way of, of getting rid of them. But don't put me in that pile and all the other friends that I know who really work hard. I am there every day after school. Many um, teachers are there every day after school. We have tutoring. We have all these things because I love what I do. I am a teacher. That's what I do. I am the best Believe it. That's what I do. And I, I have a lot of my students here. I really appreciate they come out to support us because it's a very important thing. So really think about what, we, what we're doing because student lives are at stake. Thank you very much. I understand that all the teachers will be let go and will have to reapply for their jobs. I also understand that only 50% of them can get their jobs back. But that is no guarantee that any of them will. My question for everyone here today is if TUSD believes that these teachers are unqualified and they hired these teachers in the first place, how can they ensure that the hiring process will be productive this time? <laughs> teachers are heroes. Thank you, President Obama, for understanding the importance of teachers and telling the world of their importance in your State of the Union speech. Shame on you, TUSD leadership, for making decisions with limited data sets, limited observations, and limited sample sizes, and telling hundreds of people in the Rincon and Palo Verde communities that we are not good enough to work at our current schools, but we can work at any other high school in TUSD. The State Department of Education, Arizona ADE website, says that the most favored model and the one that has proven most successful is not turnaround, it is transformation. And I would like you to reconsider where you're headed with this. Are we taking a full view? Are we thinking about all our students? Um, so and, and its strengths and, and what good school it is and how it deserves to be treated with respect. 
and I want to make my own recommendation that the school board look closely at the information you've been given, understand that it's incomplete, and that if you decide to choose one of the models and to apply for the funds, you choose the transformation model. I say my name again. I'm Bailey Chiquay. I'm a freshman at Rincon High School. You all decided on a turnaround at Rincon, and unfortunately, it is having a negative effect on our school. Teachers, administrators, and all other faculty are a part of the same community that students and parents are a part of. We all learn, grow, and succeed together as one. Although this may be my first year at Rincon, I've already begun to form relationships with my teachers, and hearing that many may not return this year truly breaks my heart. This year I've been blessed with caring and well-educated teachers. My algebra teacher, Ms. Barnes, has helped me rediscover my love for math. Ms. Erickson, my English teacher, has given me the drive to write passionate stories. And Ms. Rizek, my science teacher, has helped me discover what I aspire to be when I'm older, a scientist. Teachers are our life. Teachers like you and me have a house, have bills, and have a family that they must maintain. And just like you and me, they need money. Unemploying these teachers will only worsen their economic crisis for them and their families. For many, their teaching job was the difference between making mortgage for the month or having their house foreclosed. And now with the turnaround that you're pursuing on Rincon High School, you may be running some people into the ground financially. I'm not going to hammer you with test scores or statistics. I'm only speaking from a student standpoint, revealing to you what we are feeling about this. We are the ones that are trying to help, after all, aren't we? We're the reason that you're having this turnaround to help us better our education. But the truth of the matter is, this will only uproot us, making our education at Rincon High School more stressful and less enjoyable. If we are truly the reason that you are doing this, and if, and if we are truly the reason you're trying to help, listen to the students, listen to what we have to say and what we need for education, and stop treating us as if we don't have a voice. The bottom